Hello everybody, my name is Hui and I have psoriasis. Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to do things a little different. Uh, I've got a phototherapy unit that I wanted to go over. So this unit uh, was sent to me by one of my viewers and she thought that I could benefit greatly from using this. She sent this unit to me about two years ago and, uh, and it wasn't just like she could buy a unit and send it to me. Um, she actually works for the company, so they, the company had to work with my dermatologist to get me a prescription and then get, uh, get one of these uh, prescribed to me and then sent out to me. Uh, so I didn't have to pay anything for it. Uh, my insurance didn't have to pay anything for it. It was a, a gift from the company. The company's name is Davlin. D-A-A-V-L-I-N. And so yeah, it was so nice of them to send this out. Um, this, I had happened to get this unit right before uh, before I started my injections. So when I went to my dermatologist, uh, I had this prescribed to me, I had some creams prescribed to me, then I also had the, uh, the, the Cosentix injections prescribed to me as well. The Cosentix took the longest time because I had to go get a blood test, I had to jump all through all the hoops, um, and I got that probably a month or two down the road. But this guy, I got basically, you know, within a few days after I was prescribed it. And, and the creams, uh, you know, Creams are creams, right? Creams, they, they work, they're expensive, but as soon as you stop using them, uh, psoriasis comes right back. So this bad boy, um, you know, it's about, I don't know, two and a half feet tall and about a foot wide. Um, it's, it's a pretty sl uh, slick unit uh, overall. We've got little buttons up here that control the time uh, of exposure to the UV bullets. And they've got some weird, crazy calculation. It's not crazy, crazy, but it, it works in millijoules and you have to multiply it by the power of the bulbs and you get the time that uh, you're supposed to be exposed to it. Thankfully, they include a chart that you can use basically to find out what you're supposed to time yourself at to get uh, proper doses for the day. Now, uh, when I first started using this unit, basically after I got it, um, you know, I used it pretty much every day uh, and I got my doses every day. Back then, I had a lot of psoriasis, though, and uh, in, in for me to get the proper exposure from this uh, this little unit, I mean, it's not little, it's pretty big, but to get the exposure I needed to cover my entire body, my head, my arms, my legs, my torso, my back, everything, it was it was kind of a pain in the ass. I would have to sit here, you know, and, and get get ready to uh, <laughs> get ready to, to give myself the, the light doses, and uh, it would probably take, you know, 30-45 minutes, but, you know, I'd have to move around, I'd have to stand, uh, or I'd have to sit in, in a strange position, or I'd have to position this thing in a, in a weird space. So this thing, I think, is really good for, you know, um, large areas if you've got it, but without, like, you know, a gigantic unit, um, which probably is the next best thing, uh, I wouldn't be able to, to cover myself and, and get the therapy that I need. One thing I will say is that uh, I do remember overexposing some parts of my body because it kind of overlapped between uh, between doses you know if I was doing my my right uh, shoulder then some of the light would get onto my neck and then I would do an exposure from the front uh, and then that part of the neck would also get you know multiple exposures so that ended up in being like a like a sunburn so so I, I, I definitely got to be careful with that this time around um, Thankfully, I don't have as much psoriasis on my body, so I can target certain areas and get those areas with one shot uh, without having to give that same area multiple doses. Now, what's cool about this thing is that it, uh, it's one that you have at your house, right? It's super convenient, um, and you don't have to go into a dermatologist. You don't have to go to the tanning beds. You don't have to go anywhere else. You don't have to spend any additional money you know, for a monthly uh, subscription or an upkeep or co-pays to go to the doctor's office to get that stuff done. Um, that's what I really liked about it because I didn't want to go to the dermatologist every time I needed a dose, which would be pretty much every day. I wouldn't want to go to the tanning beds constantly every day. I'm not, I'm, clearly I'm not a very tan person. I don't like to, to tan a lot, you know. The only time I really get a tan is when I go out and sit in the sun or I go mow the lawn. So for me, this thing works great uh, when you can't go out into the sun too. So the build quality on this thing is pretty, pretty sturdy. I mean, it's it's got like, a, I don't know, it's got this plastic housing all around it. It's, it's really thick plastic, really strong. Uh, then you've got these huge bulbs all the way in here. These guys are, I, I said about two and a half feet. This is probably about a three foot unit, actually. 
So these bulbs might be about two feet long. You know, the controls could use a little work. I mean, they are simple, but you gotta read the instructions to figure that out. You know, why, why couldn't you just put a number pad in here, you know, yeah, to, to punch the time in? You know, take take a, take a, the number pad out of the microwave, slap that baby in there, and you got so many numbers in this thing. Aside from that, there's not much else to say about the build. It's, uh, it's nice, sturdy, and it works. Uh, you, it's small enough, light enough, that you can kind of put it anywhere you need it to be. Um, and, uh, and yeah. So I used it for about a month and a half, two months or so before my injections started showing up and I was getting a lot of, uh, a lot of results actually. My, my skin wouldn't be as red and uh, the regeneration slowed down quite a bit. Now it didn't stop it fully, I don't think I was on uh, the, the therapy long enough for it to stop it, but I think uh, you know over time it could work. And so, so now two years later I'm uh, probably going to go ahead and give this a shot, you know since I'm still waiting on my, my Cosentex meds. I'm not even sure I want to get back on it yet. Um, you know, with the new kit on the way, I probably should get back on it. Um, that way, I'm not chucking flakes all over the place. But I think uh, this 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 thing is is the way to go for me right now. Um, so I'm going to use it, uh, and I'll keep you guys posted on my results. So I'm only going to do my arms um, on this one. I want to kind of have a controlled experiment where I'm going to use my arms uh, and not my legs. Uh, that way I have some some more footage to show you guys uh, to pick from the legs at least in case this thing really just blows it out of the water and, and, and kills all the flakes off. One thing about my arms, I mean, as you can see, is pretty freshly scrubbed here. The, uh, the flakes on my arm are pretty bad. I mean, they bleed almost immediately upon scrubbing them. Um, and it was, it was a pain in the ass to get out, um, to get the flakes off. I didn't, it took me a very long time just to do that this time around. I'm not sure if that was because of the most recent uh, pumice stoning, but, but this time around it, it, it took a while and it was a, it was a pain in the butt. So yeah, I, I definitely want to just do the arms this time around. Uh, we'll check back periodically within a week or so and, and we'll let you guys know how it goes. So thanks to Davlin, thanks to my viewers, thanks for everybody watching. Uh, right now we'll go ahead and uh, give myself some doses and we will, uh, We'll check back in a, in a few weeks with this uh, therapy unit. P.S. If you haven't already liked this video, please like it. Otherwise, uh, you know, don't like it. I don't care. Um, hit the subscribe button and more importantly, hit that little bell so that you know when I put a new video up. Uh, there should be several flaking videos coming here soon. I've got a lot recorded, uh, but I still have to chop some up, put them up. Hopefully I can do that soon and get you guys some more flakes. For now, we'll catch you later.